Pine Mountain Club takes a very unique approach to New Year's resolution by looking to the past. I'm Avery Yellowate, your neighborhood reporter in Pine Mountain Club, and here in the Mountain Communities, that includes a breakdown of Bear Break-Ins. Pine Mountain Club has a unique group of visitors to the area, and the number is growing over the years. Since July 1st this year, we've had 541 calls for assistance with bear issues. Patrice Stimson, patrol chief for Pine Mountain Club, says these creatures can cause a lot of trouble. I've been here 23 years and it's the worst I've ever, ever seen it. In 2023, a community run Facebook account tracked 322 home entries. This includes damage to homes, garages, crawl spaces or sheds. This is an increase from last year, which had 311. And these numbers highlight just how worse the situation became over time with 185 entries or damage in 2021. Now, these numbers only apply to home break-ins. When it comes to vehicles, the group claims there were 179 break-ins in 2023. Four cars were mostly totaled. This number is down a handful from last year. 2021 was the lowest over three years with 118 vehicles, and these numbers are only what have been reported. So while cute, these bears can be troublemakers. And he got in the house and he was able to get to my pantry, which had some uh, nuts, which of course, anytime a bear gets food, now you got to deal with the bear knowing it has food and it understands and it remembers. Jennifer Emmett, one of the residents in Pine Mountain Club, experienced a break in firsthand. And he came back the very next night, tried to go in the same window, but he found out that that was blocked and he went around the house and tore the screen off of almost every window I have on the house. With the increased break ins, the bears are getting braver. As a result, local patrol has to get creative. We've had to go from noisemakers, um, things like, you know, uh, bullhorns, um, sirens, uh, things of that nature. We had to step it up to paintball guns. And when those don't work, patrol resorted to projectile launchers. Which is little hard rubber balls. Um, and uh, it's not a firearm, uh, but it, it stings them a little more. It's worth mentioning that the POA bans the discharge of firearms. Now one resident, Carolyn Smith, found another solution. She recommends a specific electric mat, saying that it has been very effective at deterring bears. Needless to say, Smith says they have noticed a big decrease in bears coming onto her property. One common misconception is just how dangerous the bears are. A lot of people are afraid of bears. There's no need to be afraid of them. They're not hunters. They're opportunistic omnivores. And while rather docile, it is strongly encouraged to not feed or interact with the bears. The best thing to do if you run into a, a bear, if a bear is in your home, no, don't get between the bear and its exit point. It will always go out the way it came in. And if you're driving on the roads, including the S curve, drive slow and be on the lookout. Please drive slowly in the mountains. We've lost uh, just recently, we lost a mama bear and her baby tried to cross the street and got hit as well. Look for the smallest animal like a mouse or a, a rat and you will see the movement of the bear trying to cross the road. Headed into 2024, the community hopes to lower these numbers in years to come. In Pine Mountain Club, I'm your neighborhood reporter Avery Elowit.